Now, here we talk a lot about perfect health, attaining it, maintaining it, and reclaiming it. And I think that is very, very important for our audience to hear from living, breathing people who turned their health around for the better, right? So, Carrie Watkins Webb, I read that you were sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, I say that all the time, that, you know, as a naturopathic, as a, cl- as a classical naturopath, people come to me after they are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you had numerous health issues. Tell us all about it. Well, Joyce, I had fibroid tumors, seven the size of lemons. Wow. I had anemia, severe anemia. I had something called radon poisoning. Didn't know that it was radon poisoning. Really? And so I was being prodded and poked by various doctors, and they didn't know it was depleting my immune system. But when I went to a naturopath, I was able to discover that that was, was what it was. How, 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 how were you exposed to radon? Well, I uh, this is my 25th year. I'm also an element, um, elementary school teacher. And so I've been in the system for 25 years. So in that time, the build, radon is an element that's yes. found in older buildings over 100 years old. And so I was teaching in that type of building. So mm. that's what happened. So, But it took a naturopath to help me to discover that that was the problem. Wow. Mm-hmm. What symptoms were you experiencing? Extreme fatigue, um, bloating, diarrhea, um, itchy skin. So, but I also had other conditions. Tell me so that. I also had the fibroid tumors. So I also had the anemia, which was also causing a lot of fatigue. So it was difficult to tell which condition was causing it. But when I started to reclaim my health, I was able to slowly eliminate all of those conditions. Wow. Mm-hmm. What was your process? Well, you know, LaJoyce, I tried every diet fad known to man (laughs) because in addition to the conditions, I also had a persistent weight problem. Okay. And so, but, and then the doctors were giving me different treatments. They wanted me to take steroids. They wanted me to take the birth control pill. They wanted to take me to take all these different things Mm. to try to fight the symptoms that I was experiencing. And when I said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, I stopped all of the regimens. I stopped all of the dieting and I started to pray because at the same time Mm. I was going through my own spiritual journey and I asked God for guidance. And so I was directed to a lot of different books and a lot of different um, ministers and a lot yeah. of different health experts and I started to read and research Yeah, and so I became a walking billboard so people would see me transform because they were used to seeing me always tired, uh-huh. always sluggish and so when I started to kind of come out of my cocoon like the mm-hmm. butterfly yeah, absolutely. and I became radiant they started to see the difference in me and they wanted to know what was going on See, and so I, and so they started asking me, well, what did you do? And so I told them that my process was to eat whole foods. Mm. And, and that was something that I had to learn. So what is whole foods? So all edible parts. So yes. God made it that way. So those are the types of food that I started to eat. And I eliminated all the processed sugars and all the processed and prepackaged foods. Mm-hmm. And so and that's what I, I had been eating. All my life. I was always All working more life. than one job. Yeah. Okay. I was always working more than one job. And even as a teenager, I was always on the go. So I wanted to eat quickly. Mm. So food was just something to do, but I didn't really give it a lot of thought. And so eating on the run, I would eat the foods that were most harmful to me. And so when I started to eliminate all those things and I started to realize what they were doing to my body, um, it made a tremendous impact. And so so I started to share that information with others. When you first started to make this adjustment, did your body protest? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Tell me what happened. You know what? Um, I had to actually do it cold turkey. Okay. So I'm the type of person, I'm an all or nothing person. So I I tell everybody, you should do things in moderation and in balance, right? Anything done to the extreme becomes error. So I, I tell people, but for me, I'm an all or nothing. I'm like that in love too. Okay, so, there you go. So I just said... Um, I'm just going to cut all these things out of my diet. But sure, my body revolted because I was addicted to sugar. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And I was addicted to processed Pro- food. Processed, devitalized. So it was difficult, yes. but I was determined to do it because I knew that God had a purpose for me and I wasn't mm-hmm. able to reach that purpose because I was always sick. Yeah, uh, I was always sick or uh, I was always sleeping. And mm. I knew 
that the only way that I could achieve what God had for me is if I cut everything out and I just move forward. Joni is a registered nurse who found herself in the midst of, um, shall we say, a seemingly terminal disease. And Joni, tell us all about it. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you again for having me. Um, my story is a little bit different. Um, I have several autoimmune disorders. So um, IBS being one of them, Hashimoto thyroiditis being another, fibromyalgia being another. And at the age of 25, I had so many muscular skeletal challenges that the doctor actually wanted to do an internal fixation on my back. And I was like, absolutely not. What in the world is that? That's when they're putting screws in a twisted back to kind of untwist it and put it back in a proper alignment. <sighs> and uh, he had told me that I had the worst hamstrings that he has ever seen on a person my age. And... You know, there's a lot of things that I have to say, you know, growing up, yep, you know, my role models may not have been, you know, the best. Mm. Um, I did not have uh, proper eating techniques. We lived off of TV dinners mm -hmm. and my mom worked all the time and very busy household. Mm -hmm. There was no real exercising or anything like that. So I really wasn't exposed to that world. Mm -hmm. But when I got a little bit older and my body was no longer compensating, I really couldn't put my energy back in things that I didn't have control of, mm -hmm. only what I did have control of. Mm -hmm. And moving forward, um, I got a certification in nutrition, and I learned very early on that it's the body that heals the body. Yeah, man. I mean, if you really look at the miracle of when a baby is formed, I mean, mm -hmm. that is what the body is capable of doing. However, you know, when we look at what we're putting into our body, I heard all the time, you are what you eat, yeah. you know, and you just kind of like... Pfft, Toss that That's out it. when you're a little bit younger, but when you get older, you realize Same. that, you know, you are what you eat. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I've been on every diet out there. I even have some fads that I went into that I'm not even proud about talking about, okay? <laughs> so, um, but the reality of it is my condition continued to deteriorate. Uh -huh. And um, chronic pain became a very, mm. very big issue for me. And I was you know, caught up into that Western medicine world, plus I had that holistic part. So I was okay. kind of like doing both at Teetering. the same time. Mm -hmm. And How did um, that work out, Joni? Well, you know... Straddling the fence. It, you know, it, it didn't work out, and um, I, I now realize why it didn't work out. Okay. You know, in Western medicine, I was just sort of like, treating symptoms and not the underlying reason, mm -hmm. you know, why these disease processes were happening. In mm -hmm. fact, the inflammation in my body was, you know, 250,000 times the normal. Ooh. And, you know, I invested a lot of money in, you know, having uh, cortisol testing and mm. having custom creams done and working with holistic practitioners and supporting my gut, which, you you know, um, with IBS, there was a lot of challenges Absolutely. with that. And um, when medicine became very specialized, so did practitioners. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to one doctor, you're going to this doctor, that doctor, this doctor, this that another treatment. doctor. Yes, yes. And, you know, it was it was really overtaking my life. Surely. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Caldwell um, is a doctor who's uh, Dr. Leonard Caldwell. He's been a guest on this show a couple of times. He wrote The Only Cancer Cure, like um, Dr. Prasad, who wrote his book. And, you know, I um, am a fan of Dr. Prasad, and um, I had heard about Joni's story um, on YouTube. I actually mildly stalked her <laughs> until I got her on this show several phone calls later, but I am the original Nancy Drew. And so, yes, I found her, and here she is today. But um, uh, I 
came after her because I think her uh, testimony is just incredible and that when you've got the tangible evidence to prove um, a medical diagnostic to prove that a product helped to flip things around as in a micro daily and I think the product is awesome and as you I've said before to all of you that you know if I have not tried something I do not recommend it and I first started using the product about a year ago the samples were sent to me and because people are asking me in this chair to sample something or try something every day and I have some criteria that they must meet before they can even mail it to me so the micro daily did get to be mailed to me and the day before I had fallen in Walmart face down and I saw my face coming to the floor and I caught myself in a full plank thank you very much um, before my face hit but the yet the next day I felt like I had been steamrolled so I went to my office grabbed the micro daily and went to the emergency room to get x-rayed because I felt like perhaps there's something wrong here so I read the information that came in the package and I took um, the powder that Joni's talking about the hydro I put it in a cup of water with some ice and it tasted really good and I put another one in there to make it really yummy and then I took two of the capsules three hours later when I left emergency I felt 70% better it did a job on inflammation then that night I took two more capsules then the next day I repeated the powder in the water and two more capsules and that Saturday I was standing in high heel shoes at a fashion show I called up the person who sent it to me and I said what is this stuff and you got to send me some more. And matter of fact, how can I buy it now? Because now I see the results. And my husband woke me up out of a deep sleep and said, where are the rest of those capsules? I thought, <laughs> oh, really? So like in 24 hours, uh, our entire household had benefited <laughs> from this one product called Micro Daily. And I thought, huh, this is really interesting. And so I had a patient who had come to my office and he had, they had driven up from South Jersey to the Poconos and the wife drove him and he slept all the way in the car. Then when he got to my office, he was still sleepy. He was listless. They had sent him home to die. Stage four, lower cancer mm -hmm. in, the, um, in the stomach. And so I gave him a fourth of a pack of the hydro because I didn't really know what it would do to him. I didn't want him to have a healing crisis. Okay. So he slept it off for about half an hour. And then he woke up and told his wife, give me the keys. I feel like driving back. Her mouth mouth flew open she said he has not driven a car in four years mm. and now he wants to drive she said what is that and she grabbed it from me I was like here I'll ch share them with you if that's your t the testimony I couldn't believe it so if you would like to try the Michael Daly for yourself grab some you can text the word EV good doctor to 77927 that's EV good doctor spell out doctor to 77927 and my virtual assistant Evie <laughs> will get in touch with you right away in order to try micro daily and receive the benefits that Joni has received just go ahead and do it I'd like to thank both of you for being here Carrie let the audience know how they can reach you and how they can get your book okay Everyone can reach me at empoweredlivingnyc.com. That's my website. And the name of my book is Blood, Sweat, and Prayers, The Mind-Body-Spirit Connection to Weight Loss. And that's mm. available on Amazon. How much weight did you lose changing everything? 48 pounds. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long? About a year and a half. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So what's your workout pro program? Well, I do a 30-minute workout. It's cardio, strength and abs every day awesome yeah because i know um since i went into menopause i realized that i need to in increase all of those three regimens and combine them together in order to get a full benefit yeah. wonderful mm -hmm. that's fantastic and joni tell the audience how they can see the full-length version of your testimony on youtube well i have a website called the perfect net. there's hyphens in between each word uh, i do have oh, um balance. some webinars on there about addiction and also uh, anger management. I also have one on fear. All right. The perfect balance, the perfect, the dash perfect dash balance dot net for Joni Jones to hear her incredible stuff. I want to thank you both for being here today. What beautiful health testimonies. I appreciate you. Please continue to follow me with this conversation on Twitter at Ask the Good Doc, on Facebook and Instagram at Ask the Good Doctor. And in order to try the micro daily to receive the benefits that Joni's been talking about and I talked about here today, text the word EV Good Doctor to 77927. That does it for me. 
remember, but first, I want to thank my Tramel on the boards over there. Thank you, Miss Engineer. I want to thank Irving Wright, my production manager, and my digital chick, MJ, and Mahogany, and Winter on the video. We thank you very much for being here. Thanks, my wonderful team.